let's get into the incentive program itself and some of the highlights therein. Everything will be accomplished from the provider community in the form of objectives and measures. So your objectives are your goals. That's, what, that's our aim. That's what we're trying to accomplish. The measure is the specific task that is being asked of that provider or that hospital. <clears throat> so obviously, if I do the measure, I satisfy the objective for that stage. Now when we look at stage one, meaningful use, uh, the final rule came out in July of 2010. Uh, providers are being asked to do 15 core measures and then choose five of 10 menu measures for a total of 20. When we look at the law itself, the law contemplated a broad, the full continuum of providers. It looked at dentists, podiatrists, optometrists, chiropractors, uh, midwives, I mean, across the board. When we look at the policy making that came out for stage one, it was very myopic. It was very focused on primary care. When you look at those tasks, a lot of them are not relevant to other specialties that are not primary care. So there are 13 exclusion clauses. And where a provider can exercise an exclusion clause, they would not have to satisfy that objective. So the number of objectives, say, for a dentist, would be much less than those for primary care. Now in stage two, which was actually released to the public in August on the 23rd, it didn't hit the Federal Register until September 4th, but there are 17 core measures required by all eligible professionals, and then a menu set of six measures from which each provider would choose three. There are 20 exclusion clauses, so lots of ways that we can exclude if it makes sense for that individual provider. But remember, this is a provider program. Always remind people of that. So if you've got a large enterprise, and I have Dr. Smith who is meeting stage two today, and they leave, and I replace them with Dr. Jones, and Dr. Jones has never done meaningful use before, Dr. Jones is a stage one EP, not a stage two EP. So it doesn't follow the clinic, it follows the provider. So always remember that. 